Oh, that is not going to do. Got a big ice tumor. Oh, I goofed. This needs to be taller. Okay, uh, <laughs> all right, I think this is gonna be a little tougher than I thought. So uh, I'm attempting to, uh, to carve some ice on my X-carve, and I'm gonna need a nice uh, flat layer of ice to do that. But as we all know, uh, when water freezes, it expands. And on my first test, I got a great big bulge on the top. So I decided to try distilled water, which uh, worked a lot better, but there was a bulge on the bottom. And while I was trying to figure out how big the bulge was, stop it, I stupidly pressed down on the corners and... But that did leave us two big pieces on either side. So I think maybe we can still try a test carve. And we're going to start off with something simple here because I have no idea if this is going to work. And this is where Easel Pro's design library is going to come in really handy. Let's see what we've got here. All right. And there is a lot in here. Now this one speaks to me. This whole row speaks to me. What? What? What is this? <laughs> Inventables, you sick weirdos. All right, here we go. I like this one. And I'm going to start off Pretty conservative here. All right, hold on to your butts. <laughs> it's working. Okay, he uh, melted a little faster than he carved, but uh, you can just make out uh, where it engraved here. I'd say that's a successful test. I honestly had no idea where this was going to go. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to refreeze the surface of this and uh, we're going to try again. Okay, so... Reviewing the footage, I'm pretty convinced the reason the ice was melting so fast is because of the uh, exhaust fan on the bottom of the router. It was blowing warm air directly on the ice. So what I've done is I've used the 3D printer that Creality sent me to learn on, and I've designed myself a cap for integrated circumvention of exhaust. An ice cap. Yeah, probably trying too hard with that one. But if this works, it should redirect the exhaust upward out these vents. All right, now back to Easel's design library. And yeah, 
Let's uh, try something different. And this time, I think I'll go deeper and more aggressive. Stop it. This worked so well, and I got a lot less melt. This is working so much better than I thought it would. Let's see how far we can take it. Nice rack, ice rack. I'm having to do this one in steps. Even with the ice cap on the router, I can only have a tray out about 12 minutes or so before I get too much melt and I gotta stick it back in the freezer for an hour. It's the middle of December and it's 71 degrees out. You know, because Texas. Stars at night are big and bright. Why is it so hot here? <laughs> well, the ice was thinner than I thought, so I already lost the rest of the disc here, but uh, it's a tauntaun. Although when I was searching for an image, I forgot what it was called, so I had to Google Hoth Horse. Trying something a little more geometric this time.
food coloring. Come on. Oh. All right. Well, apparently, again, the ice was thinner than I thought it was. And either the room temperature water melted through or I accidentally carved a little hole in the bottom. You know, a little ice hole. Either way, it's all leaked out. Once again, so much disappointment could have been avoided if it had just been thicker. Stop it. Maybe it sealed itself up. Let's try again. One big experiment. One big experiment. All right. Not exactly the result I was hoping for, but hey, we're doing and we're learning. Looks like the snow cones I used to get as a kid after school. Ah. Tastes like the blue stuff my grandma used to put in her toilet bowl. There. It's a pretty, pretty snowflake. All right, I want to try one more thing. And this time, we're going three-dimensional. Oh, that is not what I meant by three-dimensional. Uh, what a time to run out. And you. Stop it. There we go. Okay, so not everything turned out the way I hoped it would, but uh, like I said, we're doing and we're learning. I should really put that on a t-shirt. Anyway, I think there's really only one way to end this.
Oh. How is everything I make the dumbest thing I've made? <laughs> At least the TIE Fighter worked. You know, I had high hopes for this project, but it's hard to get very far without doing it in a walk-in freezer. In fact, until I started editing the video, I had no idea just how much I was losing to melt. But before I started, I had no idea if carving ice on a CNC machine was even possible. But the X-Carve did its part like a champ. If you guys have any ideas for ice carving projects, leave them down in the comments, just in case, you know, I, I'm ever dumb enough to try this again. Thank you so much to Inventables for sponsoring this experiment. These are the kinds of things I love to do. Follow the link below to find out about getting your very own X-Carve, because when you support my sponsors, you support this channel. Be sure to subscribe, follow me over on Instagram, information below. I wish you guys the very best in 2022, and uh, I'll see you in the new year. That was the worst TIE fighter sound ever. <laughs> <laughs>